17 million dollar investment uh, for these 18 black and brown small businesses is really the um, it really captures what I call the soul of Chicago. It's who we are. Last May, the city of Chicago called on the food depository to help feed new arrivals. Welcome back, everybody. Simple Sun here. Uh, we're going to do a couple of the top news stories for today. We're going to start out in Chicago. Uh, Mayor Brandon Johnson um, just unveiled a $17 million plan to fund 18 black and brown small businesses on feeding the illegal immigrants that have crossed the border. Now, in this clip, you see him defending it. You think about it. The, the first hypocrisy is the problem. It, it, this money is taxpayer funded. You are intentionally leaving out certain people based on the color of their skin. Now, I understand what somebody's response is going to be that, hey, a bunch of racist people did this a long time ago. Now we should do it now. So you're basically saying that you want to be like the racist people that you say you hate. That's the problem one. Problem two, you did not give this out of meritocracy. Did, did people vote on this? Was it given to the cheapest and the best, the most efficient? Was was any of these contracts that were given out and his money given out, was it vetted to say that this person is the best value for the city of Chicago and all the illegal criminals that have invaded our border? Where did our money go and how did it get there based on anybody's other than, hey, this, this business is owned by black and brown. Let's just give them money to feed these other black and brown illegal immigrants. So we'll have to continue to see where that's going. There's pro again, with a lot of things, there's probably nothing going to be done. So we'll move on to our next story. Over the weekend, on Sunday, February 11th, um, a person, age 36, Genesee Marino, a.k.a. Jeffrey Escalante, uh, walked into Joel Osteen's Lakewood Church and opened fire with an AR-15. This person was subsequently met by two off-duty police officers who opened fire. Um, sadly, Genesee passed away. We weren't able to cast her questions. And her seven-year-old son she brought with her, she brought her seven-year-old son with her, was sadly shot in the head. I believe he's still in critical condition, um, fighting for his life at the hospital. Um, prayers go out to him. This person reportedly has been known to have mental health issues, schizophrenia, and... We're unsure whether this person is male or female, um, trans, not trans, just using aliases for criminal benefit. Um, we're not sure yet. I will say a Houston police officer came out during a press conference and kind of speaks volumes on what today brings when dealing with people with mental illnesses. So she has utilized both male and female names. But through all of our investigation to this point, talking with individuals, interviews, documents, Houston Police Department reports, she has been identified this entire time as female, she, her, and so uh, we are identifying her as Genesee Moreno, Hispanic female. As you can see, sadly, um, there was time spent on what this person's pronouns were. Whether they were she, he, they, them, zer, um, now we have to worry about you know pronouncing someone's pronouns correctly inside of a press conference after they attempted a mass shooting. That's our biggest worry and problem that we're facing. Honestly, it's absurd. This person did something evil. They did something bad, whether they were mentally ill or not. I understand there's going to be arguments from everybody's side. And one of those arguments is going to be about guns themselves. But I do want to put in perspective before we move on to our next story. That there are three times as amount of people in the United States since 1960. That means there's about three or four times the amount of guns in the United States since the 1960s. Now within that time period from 1960... Violent crimes and murders that have to do with gun violence 
have went down drastically per 100,000. So to say that guns are the reason that people die, this just proves that two good guys with a gun just stopped a bad guy with a gun. So let's go to our next story. So approximately 2 a.m. Sunday morning uh, in Minnesota, the American Experiment conservative think tank um, their Golden Valley offices, um, approximately three different locations, was what the fire chief has said now is arson, is being investigated. Uh, it's someone set fire to these offices. Um, they're saying they don't know, really know why they did it. We can kind of guess why they did it. Um, so to go on further, we're going to take a look at this Fox News clip. And uh, we'll come right back. FBI and ATF conducting an arson investigation in Minnesota. Get this one. After the offices of three conservative groups went up in flames. Mm. I know that organization well, the Center for the American Experiment. Wow. The organizations will operate, all, they all do operate in the same building. They believe they were targeted for their political beliefs, you think? The leader of one of the groups saying, quote, people attack you on Twitter, but it's a very different from trying to burn down your office or burn down your building. <clears throat> I know John Hinderecker, great, great American. No arrests have been made. Authorities have not revealed a potential motive. Oh, they haven't revealed oh. a potential motive. We're not sure why the conservatives were burned down in the middle of our Marxist community. Do you know what this reminds me of, too, and, and why I think these guys have no confidence in the FBI? Remember the Molotov cocktails that were thrown at pro-life pregnancy centers? Oh, yeah. never and never found nothing, those guys. Never found them either. Uh, this is what we're kind of facing. Uh, Minnesota, especially, as, as everybody knows, they went up in a blaze a few years ago um, with all the riots and after the George Floyd thing. I'm surprised these offices lasted this long, honestly. As that gentleman said, you get attacked on Twitter all the time. You point out anything that's obvious, that's plainly just American, that has nothing to do with color of skin, religion, nothing else, plainly just pro-American, you're a terrible person. They, you will definitely be looked at by the left as enemies of the state. Don't you dare. And they don't even realize that everybody are trying to protect this country on the behalf of them as well. But they don't get it. They'll never get it. And that's why we'll fail. Um, hopefully these individuals get caught. Probably won't. The police kind of gave up in Minnesota. Hopefully they come back to their senses. I guess time will tell. And we'll see if anybody actually gets held accountable. So, I'm Simple Son. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave your comments down below. Um, hit a subscribe right above my head. Check out other videos of mine. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.